Over half an hour intense firings between suspected armed underground outfit Suk Mori 11 KB Power substation campus in the wee hours today. Construction of 69 bridges and 149 km long approach road at project estimated of the over 200 crore rupees begins along Myanmar Trilateral Highway, Tamu Kaigong Kalewa. BJP Manipur Pradesh says, Chief Minister Nongtho Mambiran retains third best Chief Minister rank party demands apology from former CWC member Gai Kangam over his remark on Governor Nazma as BJP worker. MPCC stays sit in against the suspension of CBI Director and Special Director in one night by Prime Minister Narendra Modi led NDA government. Sky Groups of the Hospital launches free treatment for heart patients under CMHT scheme today. Chief Minister Biren blames previous government for failing to take full responsibilities during his tenure. And BDA personnel launches his work strike from tomorrow over non-payment of monthly allowances. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangzam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. More than half an hour intense firing shook 11 KB Power substation campus in Moray in the wee hours today. According to a reliable source, the gunshot that lasted from 1.10 till 1.52 early this morning was between two unidentified armed underground outfits. The firing apparently left bullet marks on the substation gate, building wall and tilled roofs. Around 3.30 a.m. after the incident, top officers of the Moray Police Commando and Assam Rifles rushed to inspect the site. Bloodstains were found outside the gate. A pistol into which seven life rounds was recovered from the site. Wild and an uh, exploded Chinese granite bombs, splinters and several bullet empty shells were recovered inside the campus by the team. There is no casualty of any staff of the substation as per police reports. The combined team of Moray Police and Commando is keeping a strict result in the area and investigations are underway. The substation is shut for the day as panic staff rushed to electricity IB with their clothing as the substation has become an unsecured zone. Construction of 69 bridges and 149 km stretch of an approach road at a project estimated cost of 293.3 crore rupees under the Ministry of External Affairs begins along Myanmar Trilateral Highway, Tamu Kaigong Kalewa today. Foundation stone was laid for construction of bridge number no. 1 in Myanmar near Mori Integrated Checkpoint ICP. Mumbai-based MS Neeraj Simen Structural Limited, NCSL, and Manipur Tribal Development Corporation Limited, MTDCL, was will jointly construct the bridge above Jana Gorse near the ICP at a project estimated of over 8 crore rupees. Representatives of companies and top army officials of Myanmar attended the foundation playing ceremony. Senior project director of the NCSL, Purnia Subramaniam, stated that surveys were con completed for the construction of 69 bridges expected to be completed within three years while swell test was conducted for 30 bridges. He assured that once the bridges and the road are completed, it will aid transportation and business transaction to a great extent. Spokesperson of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Chong Tham Bizwai, clarified that there is no demotion in the rank accorded to Chief Minister and be rent by India Today survey report. Speaking to media at BJP Manipur Pradesh temporary office in Kanchipur today, CH Bizwai termed the news on a local daily stating that Chief Minister Nong Tham Bizwai met an early celebration of being accorded as the third best Chief Minister before the completion of the survey as utter misinformation. He intimated that as part of the sixth edition survey of the in India today, Chief Minister Nong Thamambirant was declared as the third best Chief Minister of the India. He mentioned that Northeast India is excluded in the latest seventh edition of the India survey today. 
The BJP spokesperson also condemned the statement made by Congress Working Committee member and former Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kangam, urging Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala not to be a BJP worker. Bizoy said BJP takes the statement seriously and demanded Guy Kangam for an apology. Taking part in the press meet, Treasurer of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Robin Blackie, stated that neither the BJP nor Chief Minister Nautam Mambiran declared himself as the third best Chief Minister of India, but it was broadcast on the India Today news program on October 12th, where it was declared that Chief Minister Nautam Mambiran is the third best Chief Minister of the India. Verify to the Wapau Pongose, Masi Akwigi Yamna Sopia Wapau, Ivanina, Akwigi Legal Action Book Invite to E, Madusumi Kanda Wapami. The India to the Gi, Pold Six Edition, number seven edition, Tobuganda, Coxic Deca, Associate Editors, Sanctuary, Ahamada, Mana Hibas, seven edition, Toba Survey, say, Nord Eskis Minister Kay Yaudana, Tongan was Survey, Tobzavani, Hive, Mina Haro, Hundos, Tumalika is here, Attack of Hundre. Koi kalak mi huna pek thanda oiru ne dova party ne si. Moi the leva ki isu kariga kari. Ita khande shubna ki koi ki BJP sida dhi kachin koya yeindra leva party ne Congress ye loyam dai ki kena si signals uvo phange. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC is seated against the suspension of CBI Director and Special Director in one night by Prime Minister Narendra Modi led NDA government. Taking part in the protest meet states in front of CBI Directorate office in Lamfeld today, Congress Legislature Party, CLP leader and former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi termed the suspension of CBI Director and Special Director as illegal and unconstitutional. He asserted that the protest was not about siding with the CBI but against the illegal suspension carried out without a joint consent of Supreme Court's Chief Justice, Prime Minister and Opposition Leader. CBI Special Director Anise Moina Lok Tokpase must be strongly condemned to be Karigino Haibu Anidu Akuna, Moi Pebada Haibagi Nataba. CBI Director Kanba, any fresh appointment towards who remove Hill workers who Prime Minister na Larry and the government Sinangam Deva. Constitution Haribi City, Prime Minister Chief Justice of India Supreme Court, opposition leader, other any fresh appointment director. Constitution <laughs> Sky Groups of Hospital has launched free treatment for heart patients under Chief Minister Gihakchil Kitengbang CMHD scheme today. Speaking in the event, Chief Minister Nautambambirant lauded Sky Hospital for its initiative and assured to extend further assistance from the government. He asserted that his government is working earnestly for the welfare of the public in its short span of rule. The Chief Minister sees opportunity to criticize the previous state government of not taking full responsibilities when it was in power and for trying to take political mileage by creating issues when not in power. Biren also assured of launching air ambulance service soon in the state. He reminded that helicopter service will soon start from Tamenglong and Mori routes. Attending the event, Art and Culture Minister LJ and Tukuma asserted that it is the due responsibility of the government to ensure the basic rights of every citizen, assuring that the present government will ensure due rights of every citizen in the state without any discrimination. Minister Jayan Tukuma urged for public cooperation. 23 
Chief Minister N. Biren today inaugurated a 56-bedded ward of Rims Hospital. The inaugurant comp reception program of the Chief Minister was held at Rims Jubilee Hall. Speaking in the event, Biren said if we stick to old system, there will be no new changes. He stressed on the need to adapt to every changing development and peace of the world and to work with creativity to bring about a developed and peaceful Manipur. The Chief Minister also expressed contentment at the improved condition of room, RIMS. He encouraged the medical staff by stating that there is no nothing greater than working for the welfare of the public. Why we are here, I repeat it again, to serve the people. Why we politicians? Why not for our family? Why not our for, uh, friends? Northeastern Diabetes Society held its 23rd annual conference, NETSCON 2018, at Hotel Infall today. Northeastern Diabetes Society and NETS Manipur State Branch jointly organized the event. Speaking on the occasion, Health Minister L. Jan Tukumar stressed the need to eat healthy diets and lift a healthy lifestyle to ward off various illness, especially non communicable diseases like diabetes and cardiovascular ailments. He assured of all possible assistance from the government to combat such life treating ailments. Food that we consume every day and its quality might have been one great factor for diabetes, for coaching diabetes. The social life, on the other hand, is fast changing. There are tensions and hypertensions every minute, everywhere. Mental work becomes more important to physical work. And these small issues, if not mistaken, are the root causes of many problems like this present issue, diabetic problems, this cardiac disease and others. For the cause of humanity and to ensure the right granted to all of us by the Constitution of India. And my department and my government, I assure you, my department and my government is allowed to extend any help that you works for. The three-day second Ukrul Flower Festival kick off at Ukrul Town Hall today. Speaking at the Lawns Horticulture and Soil Conservation Minister, Tono Jim Sham Kumar, assured of constructing a flower park at Ukrul in near future. Ukrul Flower Society organized a festival sponsored by Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department. Minister Shyam Kumar lauded flower gardeners, florists and enthusiasts of the district for their active participation in the annual event, assuring of constructing a flower park to facilitate florists and gardeners in Ukrul. In near future, the minister appealed to Ukrul Flower Society and people in the area to identify an appropriate location for the flower park. Shyam Kumar expressed apprehension over the rising deforestation in the district and appealed to the society to take an active role and start planting tree saplings in the deforestated areas. The minister also urged the residents to extend full cooperation in all the development and undertakings of the department for Ukrul. Varieties of beautiful and exotic flowers displayed in the distal of the festival memorized the attendees. <laughs> From this of body process, body process, last year also, NAC, Secretary, Mr. Raghavan, my department proposed for the full body process for the Chandra, Alto, and Gopu, but he sanctions my goal. Now, what is going to get to start? I don't know if you can say, but what is the key in the other area? See, you know, we soon got for us to this year, discuss our time. Manipur Apex Handloom Weaver and Handicrafts Artificial Limited launch Special Handloom Expo 2018 at GM Hall today. The expo held under the Office of the Development Commissioner of the Ministry of Textile will continue till November 8. Chairman of Manipur Handloom and Handicrafts S. Razan graced the launching event as the chip case. Varieties of local handlooms and handicrafts items are also available in the store to open at the expo. Deputy Speaker and MLA Mayank Imphal Konkam Robindro inaugurated an overhead reservoir with a total capacity of 2.50 lakh liters at Mayang Imphal Tana Maning Kuno today. 
The water reserve were constructed at an estimated cost of 1.13 crore rupees under upgradation of Mayang Imphal Water Supply Scheme since 2016 to 2017 will provide safe drinking water to inhabitants of Mayang Imphal Ward No. 3, 4 and 5. Top officials of PHED department attended the event. Mayang Infalt Road Motor Transport, Situs Chorchampur Infalt Taxi Winger Owners Society and Tata Music Owners and Drivers Association in a press release extended full support for October Mass Rally on October 31st called by United Committee, Manipur. BDA personnel have resolved to cease work from tomorrow in demand for their pending salary for two months. Speaking to Impact News General Secretary of the Old Manipur VDF Welfare Association, as Latin Gent Baife intimated that the Welfare Association resolved to cease work in retaliation to the silence maintained by the government despite their repeated requests for their due salary. He assured to start working on the same day their demand is met. Empty stomach, how can we work? ไอ้ตักจ่าตรกะดีไอ้ไฟนะกําไรทะบกตอบกันนี่เอาเดินมารมอระกาจ้านะไงไอ้ไฟนุบียังงาอยู่งานวะไอ้ไฟสักการนะ
guiding principle or that they will move ahead. Samrat Universal Academy at Sekmai Zingkuno in Kaching District felicitated its students who secured high marks in the recent class 10 examination conducted by Board of Secondary Education Manipur. Speaking in the event, Chairman of Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur, Lamabang Mahendra stressed the significance of vocational calls for students. Offering assistance for the same, Mahendra mentioned that students can enroll for skill development courses under the Ministry of Human Resource Development. The chairman attributed failures in various competitive examinations by students from Manipur to syllabus differences. He disclosed that the Ministry of Human Resource Development was approached for a common syllabus and common curriculum to convert the same. Mahendra said CBSC syllabus was introduced for students under the council in Manipur from this year and hoped that by 2019 to 2020, students of Manipur will be at par with other counterparts. I myself propose to the Secretary of MHRD and each and every chairman from all over the country endorse my proposal and accordingly that change of syllabus came into Manipur, I am very much hopeful that Hyderabad syllabus is not the same as the session, and the matter of the session is the same as the syllabus by 2021 or 1920. The Manipur syllabus is the same as the syllabus in the same way. All India competition, I am very much hopeful that they will come up with flying colors. St. John English High School of Nambol Kori Lekai celebrated its Silver Jubilee today. Speaking on the occasion, MP Dr. Tokjong Mania stressed the need to teach indigenous art forms and sports to students. Taking part in the event, Kangla Daily editor Prokhambam Ibo Choba called to introspect on the adjusting disparity between government and private schools. He asserted that it is high time to inspect the deteriorating conditions of government schools in the state. Center for Manipur Studies, Manipur University has launched a two-day national seminar on Hinduism in Manipur at the Political Science Lecture Hall No. 1 of the university today. Administrator of Manipur University, Journal Singh, graced the event as the chip gives. Speaking to media, Director of OP Center for Manipur Studies, Professor Santam Mangi said that the state witnessed many changes with the advent of Hinduism. He said the seminar will discourse on the sum of the merits and demerits of these changes. The director said that conclusion drawn from the seminar will be disclosed to the public in order to facilitate harmonious coexistence among different communities in the state. Scholars from the University of Assam and Pondicherry are attending the seminar. But at the same time, I know I can Hinduism whether it is any say positive thing that it has done. I learned from the Sujaya, I all Manipur ITI Student Union Amisu in a press list expressed disappointment at the conduct of the aptitude test examination steno trade by ITI Takil despite request to postpone the examination. It further said that ITI Takelt and all Manipur ITI Student Union Amisu are no longer related under any matter from today and that Mohammad Nazir Khan has resigned from the post of Interim Affairs Secretary. Manipur Kanglai Foods, Rima Foods, DSSS, Luang Ekro, Jimik, Naga Spices and Herds, Hill Garden and 5 FPC participated in many events on the second day of Biofac India 2018 held at Prakati Maidan, Delhi today. Biofac India aims to promote and establish a stable market for organic producers. Buyers, processors, retailers and exporting companies rendances entitled Business to Business B2B was held and discussed on quality of organic producers and natural processes.
Krisi Vigyan Kendra KVK Thobalt organized the field day come distribution of seeds under cluster demonstration on oil seed, seed hub and Nari project 2018 at KVK Thobalt in Kangabok today. Selected farmers of Thobalt and Kakching district were distributed various seeds on the occasion. They also paid a field visit to pay the fields cultivated by scientists of KVK Thobalt. Moirang Kendra Progressive Front organized the first phase of distribution of hybrid chicks sponsored by social worker Tongam Santi today. 51 widows under the age of 30 from what number 12 of Moirang municipal area were given 10 each of hybrid chicks. Speaking on the occasion, Tongam Santi asserted that it is high to stop looking down upon widows. Senior Citizens for Society Manipur in a press release extended support to the demand for upgrading Moirang subdivision to a revenue district made by Lokdak District Demand Committee, a committee formed by three assembly constituencies of Moirang, Tanga and Kumbi. indo tibetan Border Police ITBT tracking team of nine including a one Manipuri track a version Sikkim Peak. Despite adverse condition, the team on October 4 successfully managed to scale the height of the Virgil Peak located in North Sikkim for the first time to be 6,270 meters. The Manipuri tracker in the team is A.S. Wireyo, son of Led A.S. Ramyo from Tankul Hundung Kulen, currently serving as an inspector in ITBT 46 Battalion, Raibareli, UP. It may be recalled that the expedition named VZ was flagged off by KB, DVD, DIZ, SHG, Gangtok on September 13. Governor of Sikkim, Ganga Prasad, flagged in the team on October 12, unfurling this national ITBT and frontier flags on the new peak of India was one of the eight targets of the trekking team. Governor Dr. Nasma Haptala in a press release conveyed her heartfelt condolences on the sudden demise of former Governor of Manipur, Dr. Sirinder Singh Sidhu. Lauding the late governor for his old contributions, Dr. Nasma stated that Manipur lost a friend upon his demise. Now the sports news. Naroka FC will face fierce teamed East Bengal in the first home match of the 12th Hero Eyed Lake at Kuman Lampak Main Stadium at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Briefing media ahead of the match at Hotel Classic Ground today, coaches and players of both the teams are sure to give formidable performances in tomorrow's match. Head coach of East Bengal, Alessandro Menendez Gracia, asserted that his team will score many goals and will the match win the match despite Naroka FC being a challenging team. He also disclosed that East Bengal team has four players from Manipur, responding to Impact News query on how it feels to have Costa Rica's defender of 2018 World Cup, Johnny Acosta, in the team. The head coach responded that all team's members play equal importance and they are all set to give their best efforts to win the match. Millwell, head coach of Neroka FC, Manuel Ratamero Freli, asserted that Neroka FC is formidable despite being a small football club of Manipur. He assured that Neroka FC is already to defeat a big football club like East Bengal. New entrant of Neroka FC, Japanese Katsumi Yusa, assured to give his best shots to bring triumph for the team. Captain Lali Tapa further assured that his team of young and veteran players will undoubtedly give one of their best performances. And this is a different different matches, and we will try to start uh, well, but uh, it's the same for for Neroka. But the most important is the team. We are uh, we try that the the, power, the team was uh, will be more powerful, not only one player. Our goal uh, this year is uh, to improve uh, more than last uh, season. For me, the most important that uh, we must keep our three points and uh, start properly the league. We are a small, uh, small uh, club with a big heart, of course, and our budget maybe, not for sure, is different than East Bengal, North East, United, Atletico, Gold. Infalt Riding Club Team A and Manipur Police Sports Club Team A beat their opponents in the 34th N. Hazari and Dr. N. Tombi State Level Polo Tournament. In the eighth match of the tournament played at Imphal Mapal Kangzebong today, Imphal Riding Club Team A player S. Dollar and L. Atang scored five goals each, Umes Gurung scored three goals, and Ranzant 
and Takaboy and Eld Indrazit scored one goal each and Tres Kurai Polo Club Team B 16-0. Well, in the ninth match, Manipur Police Sports Club Team A defeated Jinkai Hunba Polo Club Team B 16-3. Manipur Police Sports Club Team A's player H. Abung Kuman scored five goals while S. Abung Cha, A. Jawant and S. Bimol scored three goals each and T. Rosen scored two goals. 31 polo teams from different parts of the state took part in the polo tournament held under the aegis of Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association on knockout basis. Subsequent two matches will be played tomorrow. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Over half an hour intense firings between suspected arms underground outfit shook Mori 11 KB Power substation campus in the wee hours today. Construction of 69 bridges and 149 km long approach road at Prozac estimated of over 200 crore rupees begins along Myanmar Trilateral Highway Tamu Kaigong Kalewa. BJP Manipur Pradesh says Chief Minister N. Biren retains third best Chief Minister rank party demands apology from former CWC member Gai Kangam over his remark on Governor Nasma as BJP worker. MPCC stays sit in against the suspension of CBI Director and Special Director in one night by Prime Minister Narendra Modi led NDA government. Sky Groups of Hospital launches pre treatment for heart patients under CMHD scheme today. Chief Minister Biren slams previous government for failing to take full responsibilities during its tenure. And VTA personnel launches his work strike from tomorrow over non-payment of monthly allowances. <laughs>